what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own tycoon on Roblox studio so this is my tycoon I've made a VIP room um, you know the VIP room has uh, this you can buy the VIP right here actually VIP room has some cash uh, like a morph you can just get free cash morphs and hats so I think that's like best appetizing for like people that kind of you know want stuff and I made multiple tycoons a rusty tycoon abandoned tycoon so this is basically what your tycoons gonna look like after you follow my tutorial so let's see you can add music I just decided to add some mildly creepy and then it just gets crazy music so uh, yeah so you can pick any of these tycoons ocean tycoon fire tycoon abandoned tycoon or infected tycoon I do have the owner tycoon, but only I can get to that, and it gives me like a ton of cash. So that's not a good example, but begin working just like a normal tycoon would be. And it's gonna switch some crazy music in a second. So just get get ready for that. There we go. Get my cash. It says 80 cash in here. Buy the next dropper, and as you can see, I can't just buy the dropper. So that's a good that's a that's a good example grab my cash wait for that um, I'm really not gonna do this because I'm basically playing a tycoon right now so yeah you're, you you get the main idea so <coughs> sorry guys I'm a little my throat a little hurts so you can pick any tycoon from here if you want uh, you you could I actually recommend using this kit which is it has 15,000 likes it's not a scam kit or whatever it has 15,000 likes um, so once you do this, you can add a game pass and uh, dev products. So basically, prompt people into play or er, into buying products, game pass products. So you might be thinking, well, that's the whole tycoon and it's already ready and it kind of doesn't look the best. First of all, this will all be gone. It will just be a. Uh, it will just say touch the claim, and then this will all be gone because this is in the purchases tab. So if we ungroup this thing, which it says to, delete, press, delete, me get that out of there. And then where is it? Uh, I just click, yeah. Click this. Then we go tycoons, and then you can change the name of the tycoon, which will change the name of the team you're on. So uh, if you just want it to be like Slenderman Tycoon or whatever, you know those little tycoons slender man tycoon you can change the color of these so if I didn't like uh, if I didn't like the color of this because it didn't fit slender man tycoon I could change it to like dark gray and I could do that for all my other droppers but as you can see if I press play right here I'm actually not gonna I'm not see all this stuff is gone but if I begin working, that dropper is still going to be dark gray. So perfect. It still looks like uh, you know a Slenderman tycoon so far. Um, collect your cash. Have the cash on the side. You can buy whatever you want. Add game pass. <coughs> okay. So once you've done that, you can actually add buttons because this is like the whole tycoon. This is what your tycoon will look like after it's done. So if you just make I'll just make like fake not real stairs but if say you want a second floor there you go oh I didn't mean to do that let me go back I just this and then do this shift for all those and then, or copy or control for all those sorry and then group them all together and name it stairs there we go and then we can take this upgrader and you actually have to go to the <coughs> if you just if you just duplicate the head it will it will not be good so you have to go to the actual parent up here buy an upgrader um, close oh, sorry. close this out and then actually move that right next to where the stairs are gonna be so there you go and then rename it rename the uh, rename the actual parent so by stairs and then you want to actually go into the parent and then you can change the object which you need to do that's 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 a thing so you need to go stairs 
what you need to do. You need to name, and you want to make it stairs exactly how you spell in your model, or else it will not work. So, where's stairs? Where's my stairs model? Here we go. You want to spell exactly how you spelt it in this model, or else it will not work. And then you want to drag, uh, you want to drag your stairs into purchases. There you go. Once you've done that, you can go back on stairs, uh, you can go back on the stairs button, and you can change the price to this little, uh, through the int value price. So, say I want them to be like 10 or whatever, you know, just, just to, I'm just gonna make it 10 so I can show you guys this pretty quick. Um, and then you have to change the object to the name of, uh, to the name of the model that you put in purchases, so stairs. <coughs> Once you've done that, uh, I'm just gonna move over my tycoon a little bit just because, uh, uh, just because I don't want it to be out of the barrier. So if we play here now, we should be able to, and you can add as many more uh, items into your tycoon as you want. Uh, as you can see, stairs is not there. You know, nothing's there. Uh, there we go. Begin working, and it's actually gonna take a while to spawn the stairs because uh, that's kind of because it will only show stairs when the actual dropper uh, when the actual dropper that showed would have gone. So basically, what I'm saying is, you, there's no dropper button right here where I'm standing yet until you buy it. Um, which we can actually get into in a second. Um, so, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, here we go. Three more. Blah, blah, blah. Go give ourselves some cash. There we go. And then, see, this one spawns, but it hasn't spawned before. So now it's r right there. Whatever. Uh, please stop. Please, please, please. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. No, just shut up. Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah, so these don't have anything on them yet. You can delete those if you actually don't want any game passes. Um. Uh, I'm coming out with a game pass tutorial pretty soon, but you can add as many blocks as you want. I'll see you guys when the stairs come up, so yeah. <coughs> Alright guys, uh, so as you can see, I've just spawned it, and in my VIP room, I actually do have 15,000 cash. Um, <coughs> like just free fifteen thousand cash every every minute, just for people that buy VIP, which I I've already added. Um. So yeah, so once you buy upgrader, that won't purchase because that's stairs. But once you buy stairs, they'll spawn, and I forgot to anchor them. Dang it. Okay. Well, if they were anchored, they would they would be up. So you guys get you get you get the main idea, and. Everything works, you know, it's not like it's a scam uh, tycoon thing. You can add stairs, you can add an upstairs, these walls, uh, upgrade, and all this. And I'm pretty much done. That's that's pretty much the tycoon. But you can add as much as you want. As you can see, I've done that um, to my other tycoons. This is obviously just a test tycoon. You can make whatever tycoon you want. But these are my tycoons. I've added uh, upstairs, you know, I've added multiple more droppers up here yeah up here yeah pretty much the same thing but different different varies so uh... yeah if you guys want to check this game out play it for yourself it will be in the description as well as the model oh, wait actually i don't okay never mind the model will not be in the description, but this game will be in the description if you actually want to try it for yourself. Then, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like. If it did not, uh, leave a dislike and comment what happened, and I can help you out for yourself. <coughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.